This is Simon from boneguitar.co.uk and for today's tutorial um, I'm going to go through the ever popular Spanish romance or Spanish study as some people call it or a romanza. I think most guitar players are familiar with this piece. Um, it's in two sections so on this tutorial I'm just going to go through part one. Now the first section of this piece is in the key of E minor and basically it's a composition uh, in 3-4 time built on a figuration of three notes per beat or a triplet. Now the main right hand pick which I'll demonstrate just on the open strings is that you're playing your first string and your sixth string on the first beat followed by the second string with, and then your third string so that would be your first beat then that's followed by on the second beat just repeating the first three strings so the main pick with the right hand is So just small amounts of movement with the fingers. That helps with the accuracy. Now that's the main right hand pick. There are a couple of places in it where that does change, but we'll come to that um, in eventually. Now for the left hand. Now the first six bars of this piece, you're just playing the melody on the first string with the accompaniment, second and third string, open along with the bass note. So we start by using your third finger at the seventh fret on the first string and we play this. Now that's then followed by the A at the 5th fret on the 1st string and then we drop down to the 3rd fret G with the 2nd finger then the 1st finger plays the F sharp at the 2nd fret open strings open strings again G at the 3rd fret on the 1st string and then we can slide that up to the 7th fret so, so far we've got Now, I'll play that again coming up to the 12th fret. Now I play that, the E at the 12th fret with the little finger and then that's going to be followed by playing D with the second finger. So that now gives us notice I use the second finger. Our next note C is with the little finger on the 8th fret. Now that does sound a bit strange at first, but it does resolve onto the next chord. So what we're doing, we're actually preparing that C for what's coming up next, which again is going to be repeated. So we play this. Right, now, this is where we have our first bar chord. So what we're going to do is do a partial or a half bar chord at the 5th fret 
Notice you keep the little finger on the C because we're going to play that. That's going to be the melody note. So now our bass note is the fifth string and we're now playing followed by B with your third finger, A with the bar, then you repeat. You actually go back up now. So that's We now come to the first major problem in this piece. We have a full bar chord at the seventh fret. So we have to put our finger across and parallel with your fret. Try and keep that finger as straight as possible. Avoid bends in it because all that happens is you get. So try and get it so that you, you've almost got a, like a, a pinch with your, with your thumb and finger, with your thumb more or less directly opposite that index finger when you press down. Now, I will be doing a, a tutorial on the technique of playing bar chords shortly, so look out for that one. Right, so we've got the bar parallel with your fret and your thumb behind it. We now need to put that second finger on the third string at your eighth fret. So now that's given us our bar chord. Now the melody again is carried along on that first string with a, an awkward little stretch which you will manage eventually but don't worry if you, you, you struggle at first with it but you will get it. So now that's giving us B. We've got to tuck that third finger in to get our C. We then take that third finger off. We stretch up to that 11th fret back to that 8th fret and then we take that 3rd finger off so that's now giving us I'll play that again now we've got two bars that actually that we've already played so this we've got to repeat. So we're back to our seventh fret, first string, running down to the A, G with your second finger, third fret. So that's and now heading towards the end of this section, we've got almost a B7 chord. Some players do finger a complete B7 chord. Um, I don't, I don't like that. I find it's, you get this awkward little action with your little finger, which is a bit ungainly. So what I do, I play the B on the fifth string with the first finger, A with the second finger, and then the F sharp with the third finger on the uh, second fret. So all those fingers are placed at the second fret. That's leaving our little finger free to add that G that's coming up in it. So now we now play I'll play that again. We now move the first finger to the D sharp at the first fret on the fourth string. So that's So that sequence is and finally we've got the E minor chord finishing it off. Now what we've got here is actually we've got a bass note on each beat giving us a little rundown. So we incorporate that now with the arpeggio. Now, if we're now going to the repeat of that first section, 
we play the F sharp on the second fret and slide that up to the B at the seventh fret. So it goes, uh, we do the rundown. So that's the end of the first section. Uh, on part two of this video, we'll go into the second section, which is actually the hardest part of the, the whole piece. It changes key, it goes into the key of each of E major. So I hope this tutorial uh, is helpful to you to playing uh, this popular piece. I know there are tricky bits in it. Persevere, you will be able to play it. Thank you. I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.